Hello, everybody. I want feelings here. Ubisoft has just released the new Crystal Guard Operator reveal trailer. With this trailer, they will be going over the three map reworks that are coming with this upcoming season and any gameplay changes. I have not watched this yet. I'm a little excited because this game is in dire need of some change. Maybe they'll touch on their current development with uh, handling the cheater situation, which is why pretty much half of the community has strayed away from this game. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Rainbow Six Siege is introducing some new hardware with the reveal of Crystal Guard, and it's giving the attackers a chance to do some constructive redecorating. A new operator named Osa has designed transparent, bulletproof shields that she can deploy in windows, door- Okay, so pretty much they added Clash to defense as like a fuck you to attackers, like hey we get a defender with a shield. So now the attackers are like, you know what, no, fuck you, uno reverse card, now we have pretty much the same shit difference is she doesn't annoyingly shock you and uh she can fucking place the shield doors or the middle of the floor can she give her attacker allies the power to reinforce a position and turn the map to their advantage or will the defenders see right through it was an her easy plans? headshot that she missed crystal guard is also bringing operator balance tweaks to iq fuse and twitch a flashy rework to flashbangs and map updates to Clubhouse Coast. I don't know who the fuck was complaining about flashbangs. I think they're fine the way they are. I don't know who isn't getting flashed by flashbangs. I don't know if that's the issue, but anytime someone throws a flashbang, it could be in the other room. Somehow I will still manage to get flashed. Line and bank. Subscribe to this channel to keep up with the latest in Rainbow Six Siege, and now let's learn a little bit more about Osa. Osa joins Team Rainbow as a medium speed, medium armor attacker, armed with the 556XI assault rifle. I'm telling you right now, people are gonna fucking take advantage of her holding her shield like that in some sort of fashion. There's gonna be some sort of bullshit that will transpire with her having these shields. Like being able to plant or some shit behind it. Like there's gonna be some fuck shit. And I can't wait to see the uh, execution of it on the test servers. I hope they have this ser uh, this season in the test server for a little bit longer because this shit is stupid. Sort of. I just, I want to see how people will manage to break it. And by the looks of it, 110 health, it seems that the new health system's coming out. Maybe they'll have Ward and the Elite Skin customization and the uh, changing loadout slash operator during drone phase on it for attackers. That would be pretty dope. Or the PDW-9 submachine gun in her primary slot and the PMM handgun as her secondary weapon. In addition to these terrible handgun. tools of attack, she can also protect herself and her allies with her Talon 8 clear shields. This gadget brings a little bit of defense to the offense as... Now impact grenades are going to be coming in a lot more handy, at least within this season. Osa can set it up to offer bulletproof cover in otherwise exposed positions to help attackers dig in and push on. Hmm. But as you can clearly see, what the fuck? there are some big... What the hell happened to Coastline? Is between the oh yeah, I, I, I think that's one of the maps where we're working. Alright, good. While this map has been needing the a fucking size, rework. The Talon 8 is taller and protects Osa's head when she carries it carries it and plants behind it unlike the deployable shield also it's see-through you can see your enemies and they can see you usually Dope. when this happens in siege someone is dead almost immediately but the talon eights can create some pretty intense stare downs these might end abruptly with a quick pop-up from the attacker or an impact grenade or c4 from a most likely an explosive will transpire defender but they can also turn into standoffs that destabilize the defender's position osa's shields can establish angles in key i already have a little fix for this uh make it so the more that the defenders shoot at it the more blurry or damaged the shield becomes kind of like uh blackbeard think of it like that like the just the bullets kind of blind him a little bit and it doesn't have to break, it just, you know. Doorways, down lengthy hallways, 
or from the bottom or top of a window, as she can deploy them while on repel. Combine that with the shield's ability to bust barricades, and Osa can make a room very dangerous very quickly. That Ella was stupid Defenders can that. deal with Osa's shields in a couple of ways. Explosives will destroy them easily. Smoke's gas grenades and Tachanka's Shumika launcher can be used to drive any attacker behind the shield out of position. And Clash can just walk right up. They really want Tachanka the to be important in this game. It's shield showdown. Amazing. Defenders can take away that transparency by meleeing the shield to shatter the glass. And so, much like Mira's black mirrors, a bulletproof shield gets one hit. Same with Mira's shit and me Astros. Bulletproof gadget. It's all a joke once, like, some fat fist hits it. Alright, cool. Osa's shields have a pressurized canister that can be punctured to, to see drop the, the shield entirely. With smoke grenades or a claymore to round out her loadout, Osa brings a lot of utility to help modify the battlefield to her allies' advantage and set up formidable fortifications to give the defenders a taste of their own medicine. A few other operators are in the spotlight oh, good. in Crystal Guard, including oh, very Twitch, good. whose shock drones will now be what? able to jump just like their recon counterparts. Oh, they jump. They'll also shoot a laser instead. <laughs> Mozzie mains right now are creaming themselves. Head of a projectile, meaning no drop off to contend with as you zap anything that dares defy you. Awesome. Fuse so, Twitch will is now be able to back to being OP. Good to know. On reinforced walls what? And to deliver his boom boom what? Hold. Huh? What? What the fuck? No. No, no. Yeah, no, that's not. No. Get the fuck out of here. What are they, what are they gonna to exciting excuse and dangerous this for? New locations. Exciting and dangerous new locations? No, it's not exciting at all. This is fucking bullshit. I haven't even fucking... Vice timer will oh my take god. A bit longer on a oh, a second longer, so it's balanced. Shut up. And the first projectile through will create a hole that allows defenders... Fuse mains are coming right now. And halt the deployment of the full yeah, like, like... Ugh. Go back to that. Like, there's just casually a fucking Miastro cam placed at a doorway like this. Like, nobody fucking puts one there. Just to deny that very single hatch right there. I, I doubt it. Shoot the device Get out of here. and halt the deployment of the full complement of explosives. Note that this hole will not. Hatches is one thing. Maybe. Maybe. But walls? No. Become a peak no. hole after the canister is dispatched. I think both are both equally bullshit, and but hatches like I might IQ be able to stand for because of the able to delay smart timer. Ping with her electronics detector, marking specific gadgets for her allies' awareness. This upgrade right, bandage includes tricking a little is pretty much indicator ruined, in the top right corner of her device window, showing what gadget she's about to ping, adding a little bit of intel to your intel, because we heard you like intel. Not saying bandit tricking uh, ruined because of IQ. That that's always been. I'm talking about, uh, fuse shit. As for maps, Crystal Guard is handling things oh? a bit differently by That's delivering bank. small updates to no, free go back maps. to that. Go back, go back maps. to that. Crystal... Interesting. Huh. That makes it a little better for the attackers, but are those soft walls over there? Interesting. Crystal Guard is handling things a bit differently by delivering... It looks like the bank vault window that they used to have the bars on it's now gone that's still small updates to three maps as opposed to a major rework awesome. to just one i've always hated those little bars they, they it's just it's so unnecessary while each of these maps was tuned up to bring destruction lighting and gadget placement up to modern siege standards yep. there are some specific tweaks you'll want to look out for in Clubhouse, Maps like Coastline for example, still need that. the bar and stock room bomb site is now just the bar. Oh, bomb thank site. fuck! This is one of my. It, it's such an F tier site, uh, at least the old one. Like I don't know about this new one. I haven't played it yet, obviously. But the old one, bro, like that really brought Clubhouse down for me. Was this fucking site? The fact that only really two viable sites. I hope they touched on Master Bedroom a little bit. That would be pretty dope, but I highly doubt it. But this site definitely needed that. I've always hated bar. Especially playing casual uh, bomb, and you know, you can't pick your site, and there's always that like 25 out of 100 chance, percent chance that uh, you just get this site, and it's like you just have to deal with it. But now this might be a little bit of better improvement. 
with Much the better. stock room bomb being moved to the bar stage area mm. and a new bar door added to help with on-site rotation. Very good. Plus, some new outdoor pathing by the kennels will allow quicker outdoor maneuvering. Huh? Over on coastline, will allow... Oh. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, that's um, that's something every map needs. It's just a very simple quality of life fix like that, making it easier for attackers to move in a safer route without getting spawn beat. How quicker outdoor maneuvering. That's better. I like that. Over on coastline, the big window in the VIP lounge has been replaced oh. by a destructible wall. Good. And attackers on the deep. This is why I hate this fucking map because there was there's no like hard breach that you have to pursue. Uh, there's only a select few, but they can get countered from many different angles and, and roamers and shit. It's just aggravating to play this map as an attacker uh, without, like, fragging out. Like, if, if you're taking just the shooting aspect and putting an only strategic shit into this map, uh, good luck, because it's really hard to do attacker strats on this map. That's why I've always hated it. But this wall, it could be a, like, you know, like the, the basement garage... Uh, on Chalet, uh, that wall is very important to get when they're playing that site. So when they're playing this site, that wall is going to be very urgent to get as a hard breacher. So it's good to see that this map actually has some strategic personality to it that can actually involve people like Thermite now uh, without them having to enter the building and risk getting shot first. Uh, they can actually like safely push as a team, coordinate, uh, bring someone like Nomad. That's dope. I like that. J booth balcony outside can now repel up to the roof. Oh, and there's a new window that's good. inside. That's why I never push that side. I hate pushing poolside because you have to really waste like 30 seconds just to go up and repel to the roof because you can't go repel to the roof through the balcony, which I've always thought was dumb. I have the first floor reception and service entrance area. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a window. The yeah. third and that's final. Good. I've always hated that window bank. before which has been spruced yep. up with more cover points on the top floor. Additionally, the okay. windows that looked into the top nice. floor from the parking garage have been largely blocked off. Oh! Par oh! Hell yeah! Yeah, thank fuck. It looks like that wall right there on the far left over there near the elevator. The black one right there, if you don't know, that's a soft wall. Uh, see that window over there that the, on the left of where the, the crosshair is? That's still open. Uh... Arkendall. See, right there, yeah. So, that's open now, but th I feel like people are going to make that a uh, uh, line of sight. So, I, I mean, they always have, but that's now that these are all closed off, they're definitely going to be doing that. So, uh, I feel like that's going to be a main reinforcement when playing upstairs. Uh, yeah. Condolences to Cali. Elevators have been expanded. Our condolences to, to Cali, yeah. <laughs> condolences to Cali. She's definitely going to be playing Skylight a lot more now. A little more room to maneuver. That's an interesting hatch. Uh, that makes it a little better for attackers, but yeah. There I'd like to see it upstairs. There are no more bars. Thank God. Like I just said this earlier. Thank fucking God for that. In the vault. And there's a new hatch location to get... Oh, they got rid of the bars on there too. I always thought those things were useless. It was cool for like the map aesthetic, but it, it really just stupid at the end of the day. Consider in... Why can we just go back to... There are no more bars after. in the vault. And there's a new. A Let's little more actually pay attention to. There are no more bar. It looks like the vault changed a little bit. Did they like spice up the fucking? Out front. And there's a new hatch lo yeah, location to consider. Sorry, I just wanted to lobby. do the over and after a little bit more. Out that's front. a weird location for a hatch. I don't care what anyone says. Like that's an area where civilians just walk around the desk. Like, why is there a random fucking hatch in the floor, in the middle of a red carpet? Like, bro, I'm sure it looked normal for the basement level. And they were like, alright, let's place a hatch here in basement. Wait, dude. Upstairs, it's gonna look weird. And then the uh, map director, design director was like, Eh, who cares? Nobody cares anymore. Front, you'll notice that the cars offer a bit more cover to the attacker's Good. spawns. Good! And they're they just placed an extra ambulance. Nice. There's a well, they more like moved the cars around a little bit better, so it's like better cover, that's better. New alleyway from... Yeah, so getting that original spawn peak is, uh... From right from the main door is, is less aggravating now. I can actually feel safe walking through here now. From the jewelry nice. spawn to the back alley terrace area. Oh! Gives you another option besides jumping down a manhole. Yeah, that's good. That's uh, This map has always needed that. I feel like that's why I never spawn over there unless I'm pushing server uh, if they go basement. Because 
it, it's like there's nowhere you can go. You can get spawn peaked from, I think, eight different places. Uh, jumping down the manhole is pretty risky because you can always have runouts down there too. There is really no place to go that feels genuinely safe. So this is vast improvement. I also like how they added a little dumpster right there in front in case someone decided to run out right there. Uh, that's good. That's really good. It also matches. Note that these are just some of the updates coming to these three maps. You'll have to explore yourself to find them all when that's Crystal stupid. Guard launches. Did they change the fucking police You'll truck? You'll have to explore yourself to find them all when they Crystal moved the Guard police truck. launches. Dope. Crystal Guard is also bringing some changes to how flashbangs work to make them more reliable, as in more likely to flash someone when it seems like they should be flashed. Okay. This change and the map updates and the operator balancing tweaks will be free for all players when Crystal Guard launches. Osa. This shit, New the fucking fuse shit, is so stupid. Through the premium track of the Crystal Guard. How would that work if there's an Aruni gate on the wall that he's like fusing? Would all of them just get poop, poop, poop on there, or would the entire gadget get destroyed, or would it just shoot one? It gets destroyed. Then the second one maybe gets destroyed, and then the rest are able to shoot in. How would that work with the Rooney? I, I can't wait to see test server gameplay. There's so much like game breaking Our shit battle pass when this in the season, season launches. That like isn't gonna help the state of the game whatsoever. And of unlockable what two weeks after launch with renown or R6 credits. <laughs> you can see the and fucking you can see the fucking knife registration in this game hard at work right here. Watch. That's a clear knife by Elysian right here. Look. Launch with renown or clearly that man knifed him. Follow this channel to keep up with the latest seasons and events in Rainbow Six Siege. So we got Mira's sister, Thunderbird, from last season, or this season currently, that as you see this video. And then we have Valkyrie's transgendered sister, used to be brother, getting into this season. Okay. Clearly Ubisoft running out of ideas on the design aspect. And visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Alright. Yeah, so, to sum it up, IQ's shit is nice. I like the coastline rework. That really is a step up. Clubhouse is definitely a step up. Bank is a little, uh... 50-50 for me. I have to see more of it, really, but um, it looks okay, I guess. Uh, I, I thought they were going to improve on the hatches for defenders, but it looks like it they more helped the attackers. So, uh, we'll see, I guess. Uh, but yeah, um, the few shit, on the other hand, I just, I need to see more of that shit. I, they, they really need to g really take some feedback for that shit in the test server. Nobody, I repeat, nobody besides Fuse mains are gonna like that shit. I think that is stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it, it's just, it's just dumb. It really is. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. But yeah, uh, that's the season. Uh, Osa, on the other hand feels like a forced transgendered operator to be honest but i mean i'm not going to complain because then i'll just get canceled but you know, it just seems kind of forced we had a gay operator in the very same year it just seems like they're just kind of adding them to feel more inclusive in today's society because it's year six or no year seven no year six right so they're just trying to like add more operators to be inclusive to everybody like bro come on now. it's whatever whatever though i don't care i mean i more care about the game itself and the fucking lore so whatever it doesn't affect me but uh yeah so we got uh, Osa, who has a transparent, ironic, uh, deployable shield. So, I mean, it's alright. It, it has some shit that could probably be tweaked a little bit. I think she shouldn't be able to hold it the way she does. Uh, it's just kind of stupid. She shouldn't be a shield operator with a fucking PDW or a thermite assault rifle. It just doesn't make any sense. It's kind of stupid. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope there's like a delay for which she can switch off her shield while she's holding it to switch to her gun because that shit's going to be broken as fuck. Uh, we do not want another fucking uh, blitz speed pistol meta or a fucking, uh, what's it called? Clash switching off her shit doing that cool spin move from Bikini Bro, whatever the fuck his name was, spinning and killing people and starting a whole fucking movement with that. Uh, what else? Blackbeard. Don't want to go that through that shit again. Please, no. History does repeat itself. But yeah, that's the reaction. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, 
I would say I'm excited for the season. I'm more excited for the reworks and uh, hopefully the new systems like health, the new health system, hopefully the new loadout change during drone phase for attackers slash operator change comes through as well. And most of all, elite skin customization. Something I've been waiting... Oh, fuck. Something I've been waiting for for like two years now. 